Hi, my name is Laura Dern and I'm the STEM club leader for Brooksward STEM club. And at Brooksward, our club engages mostly with students aged four, so our foundation children, all the way up to our year sixes who are 10 and 11 years old. I decided to run a STEM club because I had been attending some science courses in our local area and they really inspired me and I really wanted to share some of the things and experiments that I had done with our children, kind of giving the opportunity for awe and wonder. I decided to run the club um, so I could achieve and improve our science capital for our children and also at the time we were thinking of doing our PSQM, which actually we did achieve. And as a result, we've also got a dedicated science cabin, which has really helped inspire children to come to our STEM club. Reason being, in our science cabin, we get to do lots of experiments and the children saw that coming to the science cabin was a fun experience. So then also wanted to come to the STEM club so they could carry on with that. Our club has become successful due to the science cabin afternoons. The children get to leave their classroom, they get to come to the dedicated science cabin, do experiments, they're not having to do any writing, they're just improving their scientific inquiry skills. And as a result, as I said, they, they want to come and do the science and STEM clubs with myself. I've been doing it for the past four years. It's, as I said, it's open to foundation all the way up to year six. It's really lovely to see those foundation children being supported by our older children in the school and developing that science capital and awe and wonder from such an early young age. The challenges sometimes I have with the club is organisation. There's never enough hours in the day. And unfortunately, getting the resources ready and um, preparing the club so that the children just get to come and enjoy that time and do the experiments sometimes is a bit tricky. However, um, I do have some science leaders in the school and they do help out with getting the resources ready. So our children really love the chemistry side of STEM club. They uh, love seeing reactions and seeing what happens when they add maybe more vinegar or water and just seeing the explosions really. It makes them go wow, which is really, really great to see. The club over the years has got bigger and as I said, we have now got that dedicated science cabin at our school. So it's away from the classroom, it has the equipment and they can just go there and do those experiments. Um, science is promoted in our school and is important because we want to be a leading STEM school in our local area. So we do lots of computing, we do lots of engineering clubs. Um, my focus is the science club. Um, and that has been really, really enjoyable. We have links with our local university, Cranfield University, thanks to um, some of our parents. We also um, are really lucky that this year we've been able to compete in a big boat challenge where the children got to go to Cranfield University and they got to test out some boats that they had built. And we had a giant wave machine where the children kind of could see the waves getting bigger and bigger and they could see if their boats would actually survive in a very rough sea, which is really exciting. The club supports careers um, through our STEM ambassador um, days and afternoons. We have STEM weeks as well at school where we kind of move away from our normal learning of literacy and maths. And we have visitors from local businesses, STEM ambassadors, science fairs, just the children are kind of opened up to a world of possibilities when it comes to those STEM careers, which is really fun and exciting. So my club was nominated by our head of school for the STEM Inspiration Awards. The children that got to go and found out about the award were really amazed, impressed and excited. It was actually four year five and year six children that got to come with me to London. Um, when they got to share the experiments that we do and the experience that they had, they were just proud, proud of everything they achieved, proud that we'd been recognised for an award. I think the club is successful because we inspire the children and give them experiences that ordinarily in the classroom they wouldn't actually have. So I think that's why our science club is so successful. In the future, I'm really just hoping that our STEM club can continue and we can build those links with our local universities and offer those science capital uh, experiences to the children. So again, STEM is kind of raised as a possibility for a career for the future. Um, in the future also, we want to share um, our experiences, our club with our local uh, community 
share the experiments and the ideas and the, the processes we've been through. We also want to have our science fair. Um, we also have a STEM week planned um, where we link again with our local university and businesses and STEM ambassadors. And STEM ambassadors is something that I have worked with this year to kind of raise that profile of STEM and encourage the children to think about those STEM careers in the future.